until Martin came out. There wasn't much interest from anybody. Everybody was putting their birds in little cages and, and uh, looking, seeing how they hop. My retired life sure changed when I met him. Yeah, that was a breaking point, his enthusiasm. Ich war von 1998 bis 2000 hier an der Fakultät und es hat sehr schnell herausgestellt, dass es hier unglaublich spannend ist mit den Leuten, die hier zwischen Ingenieurwesen und Biologie und äh, Naturkunde arbeiten, äh, weil hier eben wirklich die, die Wildtiertelemetrie entdeckt worden ist in den 50er und 60er Jahren. Bill Cochran was the pioneer in this particular field of automatic detection of birds and animals. Okay, go on. Go up and check the, the driven element. I hear the 975, or the 90. I hear one of them. He was working for me at, in a laboratory at the time that he had the idea for tracking wild animals by radio. And he used facilities that were under my control at the time. I helped as much as I could. My first major interest as a professor was in radio astronomy. And I developed large radio telescopes for astronomers to look at the depths of the universe, at galaxies and other structures in the distant universe. But I was interested in birds for their own sake long before that. I didn't know a thing about birds, except that well, I knew they flew and that they migrated. Yeah, it was just, I was a technician. All the good ideas belong to somebody else, and I just came along and allowed him to do it. You know, just sign up for the website, and uh, yeah. I'll give you the website. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Arlo came here in 1970 as a, as a, as a student, and wanted, he was, his driving interest was cowbirds. He was enthused about the radios, too, and did a lot with them. He's quite a <laughs> helper. But, but how far does it work? It's supposed to work seven miles. Uh, Bill hat zum Beispiel vor 30 Jahren angefangen, mit der NASA über Satellitentelemetrie von großen Tieren zu reden. Also hat auch diese Ideen angestoßen. Zwar nicht dann im Endeffekt nicht durchgeführt, weil es noch zu früh war. Also die haben ihn damals ausgelacht, aber zumindest angestoßen, dass das, die Gedanken dahin losgehen. I didn't get much support, emotional support. People studying migration was unlike today, when there's probably five or ten thousand people worldwide interested in these orientation and navigation things from everything from ants to elephants but back then it was not extremely serious to topic maybe there were 20 or 30 people uh, I worked at it starting in 1965 the, the birds just come through for a few weeks in the spring or a few weeks in the falls and it's time consuming to do one so you don't get a very big sample every year and I didn't do it every year so it, like I think I've got about 100 flights, and that's taken 35 years. And finally, it added up to something. Jim Cochran, also der Sohn von Bill, macht weltweit die besten Transmitter, ohne Frage. Der kann Sachen bauen, die kein anderer bauen kann. Das ist im Prinzip so wie die, die Stradivaris der äh, Transmitter. All my kids have gone tracking with me. Yeah, Jim was uh, one of them that got interested in electronics. I taught him how to build the transmitters, and since then he, he's improved them unbelievably over what I left him with. The components got better because of miniaturization. The antenna lasts three weeks instead of two days, and, they, and you can pick them up a lot farther away. Is this measuring the power output now? Or? Uh, no, I won't do that. Just looking at the pulse width and just pulse width and the interval. Wir können immer noch nicht feststellen, warum bestimmte Populationen zurückgehen oder zunehmen. Ähm, diese ganzen Fragen sind völlig offen. Wir können Tiere nicht global verfolgen während dem Zug. Das heißt, wir wissen nicht, wo die Probleme haben. 
Im Prinzip geht es genau bei dieser Frage um Icarus. Das heißt, wir wollen global in dieses System schaffen, wie auch immer das dann technisch ausschaut, dass wir kleine Tiere langfristig verfolgen können. Most of the tracking we did was from the ground and, and we have to use the highways and picking roads to go. And the bird is going cross country and we don't know exactly where it's going to be next. We need to choose the right highways to be in the right place at the right time. Sometimes that's easy. If the bird's paralleling a, a major road, you just drive along with it. Other times it's very difficult to uh, zigzag across the countryside on roads and know when to speed up or when to go slower. But uh, I think it's desire. George, can I fix the antenna? Yeah. Okay. Das ist eigentlich genau das Spannende an dieser Besenderung. Wenn man Individuen verfolgt und dann deren Entscheidungen sieht, und dann lernt man völlig neue Verhaltensweisen, völlig neue Überlebensstrategien von diesen Tieren, die man erstmal überhaupt nicht versteht und die dann wieder Ansporn sind, weiterzumachen. The bird transmits a signal, which can be received by a distant receiver with an antenna that has a certain directivity to it, so that it receives signals from one specific direction that enables you to tell where the bird is. And then the observer has to have that antenna plus a radio receiver to detect the signal that the antenna delivers to the receiver. We have here a drossel with a sender drauf und wollen versuchen, die zu verfolgen. Jetzt ist gerade die Zugzeit, also es ist Mai, die kommen von Venezuela, Panama oh, okay. hier hoch, ziehen hier durch und fliegen bis hoch nach Kanada. Das heißt, die brüten alle nördlich von der Grenze. Und äh, daher wissen wir auch, dass jeder Vogel, der hier durchkommt, Zugvogel ist. Du weißt nie, wann der Vogel losfliegt. Und wenn es losgeht, dann ist es Adrenalin pur. Also es ist wirklich spannend. Weil man weiß nie, was die machen, wo die hinfliegen, welche Richtung, was der Wind macht. Each time a bird takes off, it's a challenge to keep up with it. And so it's a contest, it's a game. And uh, you're fighting the roads and the traffic and oftentimes the police. And gas is running low. And, and succeeding on a flight then gives you some satisfaction that, hey, you, you know, overcame those difficulties. Good. The first big flight was from Green Bay, Wisconsin for 1,500 miles. I don't know what that is in kilometers down into Mexico in 16, 16 days. And that was a, yeah. an odyssey. Arlo was along and uh, several other, all done on my own money, which everything practically has been self-financed because long-term projects never fly well in science. They want something that you can write the plan out and do it in a year and then maybe two more years of support and then you're supposed to be done. Die Wanderdrosseln heben irgendwann nach der Dämmerung ab und dann versuchen wir die vom Boden aus zu verfolgen, aber da verlieren wir es manchmal und auch um deren Flügelschläge zu messen und deren Herzraten wollen wir ganz nah dran sein mit dem Flugzeug und die eben dann die Nacht durch verfolgen und schauen, wo die runtergehen morgens. Es gibt ganz wenige von diesen Flügen, die wir schon verfolgt haben. Und bei jedem Flug lernt man was Neues dazu. Also es wird auf jeden Fall spannend. Yeah, it's to the west, so I think take a left. The next opportunity, take a left. Es ist natürlich schon unglaublich toll, dass wir wirklich eine von den wenigen Leuten sind, die sozusagen mit den Zugvögeln nachts mitgeflogen sind. Und jeden Herzschlag, jede, jeden Flügelschlag, jeden, jeden Ton, den die ausstoßen, kennen. Da versteht man dann schon oder meint zu verstehen, was in deren Gehirnen vorgeht, wenn die nachts von Südamerika nach Nordamerika ziehen. Oh, 32 
In Zukunft wird es so sein, dass wir hoffentlich über diese kleinen Sender die Tiere wirklich das gesamte Leben lang verfolgen können und jetzt sozusagen ein völlig neues Wissenschaftsgefühl für diese kleinen Tiere auf der ganzen Welt kriegen. We did get some attention on the road when we tracked with that vehicle with the, the antenna on top, because back in the early days, that was something special, you know. Well, let's see. We, we told one, one guy, <laughs> a gas station attendant over at Danville, we said, what's that? We're tracking a bird. Oh, how are you doing that? Well, we've got a radio, we got a radio on it. And the guy says, well, what station is he listening to? <laughs> 